what is going on guys real touch gmail here back with another sort of cool old game of mine and this is pixel bit trials and this is actually the first java game that i made in completion and put out and i actually put it out on my channel a while back i uh, made a whole trailer for it and everything it's pretty cool it's free to download i'll put those videos uh, in the description so you can kind of watch the trailer and stuff if you want also with the download link of course but uh, pixel bit trials this is a pretty cool game of mine turn down the music um, so we got a couple options here sound particles everything is sort of 8-bit uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play the game and start it out so I'm not sure okay there we go so I guess you just use the arrow keys to move here, and you can use the down arrow key, oh, and you can double jump as well, that's pretty cool, to, uh, you can use the, the down arrow key to sort of, when, you, when you're in the air, kind of push you down more. So the object of the game is to dodge these sort of uh, uh, tanks and different objects that come into the game. So there's a couple different zones in the game as well, and I actually, this game actually got sort of popular. And when I say sort of popular, I mean a couple hundred downloads. So I went about creating it for the iPhone and iOS. So I actually had a whole prototype built out and everything, but just you know, some things came up and I didn't finish the game. And but it it is something that I would, I would actually like to go back and finish because it is a really cool game or concept. Very small, but I feel like it would be really cool on the iOS, uh, especially when I was playing it. Um, this is again probably three four years ago that this all went down and uh, oh I got hit there and uh, yeah so with the iOS controls you kinda like um, tilt the screen on your actual iPhone to move the character and you know you know tap the screen to jump and double jump and you can swipe down to uh, use sorta of what the down arrow key does here and kinda bring you down faster so it was pretty cool also, this was fairly early on in my Java sort of career. Oh, oh boy. Uh, this was when I was just learning Java, and it was a great game, and it showed me a lot, especially with these particles. You know, I, I had never done something like that before, and it's it was, it was a great learning experience. So here's the first zone. Uh, just sort of play through it here, grab some health. Oh, boy. So, a constant theme with a lot of these games I'm making, too, is having everything sort of randomly built. And, you know, obviously you're not going to have the same playthrough every time here. Um, because everything is just sort of spawned randomly. And it's pretty cool. But a common theme I have with these sort of games that I'm making is this hectic sort of gameplay. And I think that's like a great genre to do when you're first starting out and building a game because it's very easy to make. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have a long storyline. It doesn't have, you know, it, all, all it has is, you know, some objects coming in the room. That's what I did with Wave, you know. Uh, also Beneath the Surface, which I, is a common theme I like to do with a lot of Ludum Dare games because it's very short to make. Here we're in the second zone. And we got some spikes coming down as we fall deeper into the abyss. But yeah, beneath the surface, you know, pixel bit trials here, uh, even even things like Street Wars and uh, not Color Master, but a lot of the zombie games I made, Dead Ambush, it all has sort of this random survival outcome on it, and I really like that idea for a game. It's a cool mini game. And that's also what I'm doing with my newest game, So, so Much Blood, with, you know, randomly generated terrain and Oh, we got a huge worm coming. <laughs> you know, randomly generated worlds and, you know, different pickups you can buy and different upgrades, and it, it really comes for a new playthrough every single time. If you haven't seen So Much Blood Trailer, I'll also put that in the description. It's my newest game I'm working on in Game Maker. Oh, look at that. I got two of them there. You got little blood particle effects coming out of the worm. Oh, man. They didn't even give me a, a warning. Alright. I also like to add in these different zones something, you know, sort of cool. Like here we have the the spike wall with just a gap that you gotta fit into. 
You know, just just a new mechanic to always keep the player interested. And I've learned a lot of game design through making these cool little games that I've been showing you. And you guys tend to like this series, so I've got I got more games on the way. So if you guys want to see more, I definitely have more. Oh boy. Oh, and we're in the lava zone now. So we're falling deeper and deeper. Alright, let's see here. And this trail effect I'm using now with this game was actually the same sort of system I was using in my Java game development series with Wave. Uh, and if, if you guys have seen that, then you'll, you'll, you'll understand. But this is pretty cool. I haven't played this game in so long. I was very proud of this game. Still am. Whoa. We have a little cannon. We get in the cannon. Shoots us into the sky. Oh boy. Now we're sort of free floating. That's really cool. If you guys want to see the iOS, I actually made some development vlogs on it. I'll put that playlist in the description as well. I got a whole whole plethora of videos for you guys to see if you're interested. Oh boy. This has got to be one of the hardest zones here. Dodge him. Ah. I'm about to die. Oh no. Oh, here we go. Alright. We're back. Now there's sort of low gravity on this moon zone here, and you can't use the down arrow, it seems. Lots of robots and UFOs. I know there are UFOs on the moon. Oh, I died. It also keeps your high score and everything like that. That's pretty cool. I'll try again. But you basically got the idea. I think that was the last zone. And then what it does is it you land down back on Earth. And it gets harder from there. So it is an infinitely made game where you can basically go as long as you can last. Try and really play it here this time. Also, a lot of you, when I posted the game, a lot of you guys actually made Let's Plays on my game as well. If you just search Pixelbit Trials, you'll see probably five or six people that have played the game and recorded it. That's, a, that's always the best part when creating a game, is seeing other people play it. Second zone. So I beat my high score. I 
should have made some sort of coins or something that increases your score as well, dropping down. That would have been cool. with this zone here is there's no health pickups. Shaking. Come on. And fall back down to earth. Oh! <laughs> right onto a tank. And now it should be harder. Doesn't look very hard. a little bit. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I died. Well, I beat my high score, so that's going to be it today. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.